Hello, my name is Neeruja Gopal Jayal, and I have the very pleasant duty to announce on behalf of the New India Foundation the shortlist for the third Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay NIF Book Prize 2020. Many of you may know the New India Foundation through its flagship activity, the Award of Fellowships for researching and writing books of high quality on diverse aspects of the history of independent India. Three years ago, building on this mission, the NIF announced the Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay Book Prize, named after a truly remarkable Indian, a freedom fighter, the first woman in India to contest an election in 1926, someone who worked hard for the rehabilitation of refugees after the partition and for the revival of Indian handicrafts. Kamla Devi had a deep love of books, wrote about 20 herself, so it's entirely fitting that this book prize is named after her. The prize recognizes and awards outstanding works of non-fiction on any aspect of modern and contemporary India and in any genre. The first prize was awarded in 2018 to Milan Veshnav for his book, When Crime Pays, Money and Muscle in Indian Politics. The second was won in 2019 by Ornith Shani for her book, How India Became Democratic. This year, we received over 100 nominations and a month ago, we announced the long list for the third Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay NIF Book Prize. That long list of 12 books has now been narrowed down to a short list of six by the jury, which this year comprises Ramachandra Guha, Nanda Nilekani, Manish Sabarwal, Srinath Raghavan, Nayanjot Lahiri and myself. And it is from among these six books that the winner of the prize will be announced in mid-December. So in alphabetical order, the much-awaited list of six books in this final round. Amit Ahuja, Mobilizing the Marginalized, Ethnic Parties Without Ethnic Movements. An outstanding first book by a young scholar based on extensive field research that shows how Dalits gain more from participating in a social movement and dividing their political support across parties rather than voting as a bloc for one ethnic party. Arun Mohan Sukumar, Midnight's Machines, A Political History of Technology in India, a path-breaking account of the historically troubled relationship of India's political class with technology. The book shows how the ambivalence of India's leaders on the place of technology in society inhibited India's technological advancement. Arup Jyoti Saikya, The Unquiet River, a biography of the Brahmaputra, a work of breathtaking scale, a deeply researched study of the river from its hydrology and ecology to its interaction with humans and non-humans and the way in which it has determined the course of Assam's history. Jairam Ramesh, A Checkered Brilliance, The Many Lives of V.K. Krishnamenon. Based on new archival materials, this is a brilliant biography of a brilliant, multifaceted, complicated man who worked relentlessly in Britain for India's freedom, became a star at the United Nations in the 1950s, but whose public life came to a rather tragic end. Catherine Eben, Bottle of Lies, Ran Baxi and the Dark Side of Indian Pharma, a deftly written, fast-paced work of investigative journalism that tells a cautionary tale. Stephen Alter, Wild Himalaya, a natural history of the greatest mountain range on earth. A fascinating book that weaves together the geology, geography, flora and fauna of the Himalaya with the myths and folklore, the cultures and peoples that it sustains through a journey across five countries that this mountain range traverses. As you can see, our shortlist covers a century of modern Indian history and encompasses several genres, biography, investigative journalism, environmental history, the history of technology, and the study of ethnic politics. As a whole, it captures some of the range, the diversity, and the quality of nonfiction writing about India. So watch this space for the announcement of the winner of the Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay NIF Book Prize 2020. That's in mid-December. Thank you. <laughs>